Welcome back everyone to another Polygonmatic video. We have some more news updates to go over and then we will be taking a look at the current price action of Matic. So if you do enjoy staying up to date with everything Polygon and crypto related, make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Consider following me on Twitter where I post daily information around the Polygon ecosystem at NARB Trading. Gently tap on that like button and let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to quickly touch on today is a new milestone that the Polygon Polygon Twitter page has reached. Polygon is now a community of over 700k members visioning to bring Ethereum to the world at scale. The community only gets bigger and stronger. Thank you one and all for your constant love and support. So the Twitter page now at over 700,000 followers. We talk about it all the time, the incredible growth that Polygon has experienced in the past year, and it's truly not slowing down. You can see it here with the following, but also the amount of people using Polygon is growing at a rapid pace as well. So just wanted to quickly point out that awesome milestone there. And next up now, the Polygon Alpha NFT is now live on OpenSea. I will leave this link down in the description, but check this out. This is a one-of-one one NFT, so this is the only one that will ever be available. And inside of this Polygon logo is reflecting the Polygon ecosystem with all the projects. So I think this is a really cool piece, and you have the opportunity to bid on this if you'd like, and a portion of the proceeds will be going to the release fun that Sandeep has created. So a really cool NFT, a portion going to a great cause, now live on OpenSea. And next up here, a new Polygon POS in numbers blog post has been posted. So I want to go over a few recent metrics over the past week that the POS chain has experienced. So in this article, it states, Polygon crushes previous active user records, exploding 38% week over week. This is the fifth consecutive week Polygon has increased daily active users, reaching nearly 300,000 per day. This is of course something that we talked a lot about over the last few videos, this insane spike in daily active users. But this past week, Polygon averaged 61% of Ethereum's user base, which was a 51% improvement week over week and 25% of Binance daily active users, which is an increase of 28%. So a record-breaking week for Polygon, and down here it says 225,000 new users experienced Polygon for the first time. And this increase in users has also increased the average daily transactions by 13% at an average of 6.5 million. Incredible, incredible stuff. I will, of course, leave this full blog link in the description below. I would recommend giving this a read because it then goes over current monetization growth and then gives a summary including the crazy growth in the NFT space that Polygon is experiencing also. So I love these weekly number updates that Polygon is doing. This gives us a great perspective on the data behind the Polygon network and really shows the continued growth. So again, give this article a full read when you have the time. But now let's go ahead and move on to the final piece that I want to cover before we jump into the charts. This is something that I am super excited about. So there is a Polygon Nightfall webinar coming up. As I'm sure you all remember, Polygon recently announced their partnership with EY, and on October the 7th, Sandeep Nailwall, the co-founder of Polygon, and Paul Brody, the global blockchain leader at EY, are going to be talking about the newest edition of Scaling Solutions on Polygon, which is Nightfall. I am excited to learn more about Nightfall and the EY team involved, so this link will be down below to sign up. October 7th, 8.30 a.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. India Standard Time. I'm sure there will be lots to learn and I will of course cover it here on my YouTube afterwards. So now that we have touched on some of the recent updates, let's go ahead and move on over to the Matic chart. So the crypto market is experiencing a nice little bounce. Matic has respected the support at the 200 day moving average once again. In my last price analysis video of Matic, I said that I do not think it's very smart to get bearish at support. And so far, anyway, the price is looking like it's going to hold above this key zone. But of course, there is still a good amount of resistance that needs to be broken before we can all get too excited. The first resistance is pretty much where the price is sitting right now at around $1.25. This is a previous support level that was broken, which then turned into resistance. But the price has now broken out of this short-term downtrend, which is a really good start. And heading into the weekend, things are looking strong. An indicator that I did want to point out here, though, is the MACD and the 
MACD indicator is looking to flip bullish here after being bearish for quite some time. So we're starting to see the market potentially heating up here and beginning to give some bullish signals flashing. And the big players, Bitcoin and Ethereum are seeing a nice pump as well. Starting here with Ethereum now back well over 3000 after being at 2800 just a couple days ago. And Ethereum has had a lot of bullish news lately. Moving over to Twitter here, Visa, Reddit, Twitter, and TikTok all now using Ethereum. The world is truly coming to Ethereum. These are obviously major platforms all moving into the Ethereum ecosystem. Soon there will be an Ethereum logo attached to verified NFT profile pics, which is a pretty big deal. And then of course for Bitcoin, you can now use the Lightning Network to tip people on profiles on Twitter. So adoption is happening. These are still the very beginning stages, but it's honestly happening a little quicker than I thought it would. But over Overall, just a lot of bullish news surrounding the crypto market, so it's really hard for me to believe that we were about to enter a multi-bear market. And as we move over to the Bitcoin chart, we see a nice pump coming from BTC as well. So again, the market as a whole obviously looking much better. It's not quite time to celebrate yet though, again, still lots of resistance to be broken, but it certainly always feels good to have a strong green candle and see pretty much the entire market green. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Leave a like. It really helps me out and I will see you all next time.